another day, another adventure. We're going to do Angel's Landing today. And I know what you're thinking. Haven't you already done that? You're right. Here's the thing. I'm going to give you the full Angel's Landing story on the drive out there. But we're going to do it today as like a last bucket list check. And we're doing it solo today. This is like a thing that I need to do for my soul here. Um, and we're going to do it together. First things first though, breakfast, because your girl's hungry. And then I'm going to pack my bag with you so you can see what I'm packing for Angel's Landing. Also, Angel's Landing is like an iconic hike and people talk about how hard it is. And it's not that it's not challenging. It's just not that long. So for some reason, when people say hard, my brain goes to pack enough food for three days. You don't need to do that. You need to be prepared for bad weather. You need to have some food, hydration, but like we don't need to be overpacking and just carrying a bunch of extra weight for no reason. So let's have breakfast pack and get going <laughs> protein waffles because you guys know these are my fight weight. i need whip though i'm measuring with my heart today okay let's pack my pack here we'll do this together on the back you can tell i already have my bladder in it and i'm bringing a liter of water for today puff first aid kit a comical amount of tissue because maybe I'm the only person, but I swear as soon as I start hiking, I get a runny nose. An extra pair of pants. If you're wondering why, um, in case I pee my pants, I don't know. The same reason that girls pack 67 pairs of underwear when they go away for a weekend. <laughs> bear spray? I know what you're thinking. There's no bears there. You're right. I'm Canadian. We don't do guns, but we do bear spray. Good for bears or scary humans. This has grippy legs, so to get it to slide in and out of those front pockets, I just put it in a sock. Comb and an elastic. People always say, like, no one's hair looks like that when you're hiking. You're right. My hair is usually a disheveled mess, so we bring a comb and a pony. Hair and a pony on the way out. Quick comb when we're at the top. <laughs> It'll go squeeze. I pack these every time. Today we're going with four. Squeeze and go, you know? The kids are on to something. Kool-Aid because they're elite, and having something with quick, easy sugars is really nice all packed and ready for Angel's Landing. I've got a good amount of like easy sugars, quick candy, go-go squeeze, things like that. I'm gonna eat a good meal before I go and then when I get down, I will go and have a nice little lunch to celebrate. So let's go. So it is off season in Zion right now. So the shuttles are running and I believe this is only a few months a year. So this is one of the few times a year you can actually drive down here. So I'm gonna drive to the trailhead today. Normally you would take a shuttle. If you've ever been before, you know that there's a shuttle system that works in the park and it like it works really great, but um, it is really nice being able to drive into the park. There's a couple trails that you drive to, but most of them you use the shuttle system for. I'm in the park. They just let me know that there is no parking at the trailhead. So I had to park in a different lot, which is about a half mile away, which not a big deal. I just need to get boogieing. Like I'm gonna wear a puff once I'm up there and then I feel like maybe I should bring a puff and a shell. Almost left without my camera. Happy I went to the washroom quickly and checked. That up there is Angel's Landing. I'm more proud of today. For this trail, you kind of, I did the connector between the parking lots and then you hike along the river and then there's a bunch of switchbacks on the front. Then you go through kind of a bit of a canyon and you get to Walter's Wiggle wiggles on the back before you actually start the angels landing trail so let's go so this is the canyon connector here i'm just about to start walter's wiggles i'm about 30 minutes in from when i left the car so we're cruising okay we're at the top came up with this lovely group of people that i just randomly met hey <laughs> From California! Chile! <laughs> also, this is the best part of hiking. And we're at the top. It's beautiful. And it's so calm today. I thought that I would record this on my way back from Angel's Landing but I did not, so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> I ended up having the most magical day. And okay, it's kind of a long story, kind of not a long story, but I figured I had to give you the full story. A couple things, iconic, amazing. It's one of those like bucket list hikes that I feel like if you're in the park, it's worth doing. It's iconic, it's amazing. I've done it several times, but if you're nervous about the heights, they're 
is better views from my chaser trails. Don't tell anyone I said that. Before I went to do Angel's Landing, I found a thread on the internet. Just some people saying some unkind things about me. And I know that kind of comes with the territory. I think I'm pretty good at navigating those things, but I'm not going to lie. I didn't love reading those things. They definitely didn't make me feel great. I'm a really independent person and I feel quite comfortable doing things alone. So I hike solo often, but in doing Angel's Landing, I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to apply for a permit. It's a lottery permit. So I was like, I'll apply today and it's a lottery permit for the next day. So you find out, I want to say I found out at four if I got the permit. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go do something that kind of pushes me and challenges me because Angel's Landing is more of kind of a mental game than anything else because there is exposure on it. Um, and then we'll kind of see, see if I get it and kind of navigate from there. Lo and behold, I get the permit. <laughs> so as you can tell, we went and did Angel's Landing. But the best part of this hike that I have to tell you is that one, it's just amazing being outside and being outside is always great because we always get to connect with other hikers and just chat with people along the way. And people are usually amazing that you meet on the trail. But Angel's Landing is definitely a head game and there are always people and like bless your souls to the people coming down. But we got to stick with hiking code. Hiking code is always you're almost there. You've got this. Okay. I don't care if there if we're two minutes from the parking lot. You've got this is what you say to other hikers. Angel's Landing, I think some of the hikers may have gotten the messaging confused. There were people just saying lots of like, be careful, one wrong foot, you'll die, bad messaging. Here's the thing with Angel's Landing, you need a permit and most people have looked into the trail, read into the trail, and you have to go through a ranger station to get onto the trail anyways. It's the ranger's job to make sure that everyone's hiking within their limits. Once we're on the trail, we are... It, we have all become cheerleaders now for strangers, okay? That's just like how it goes. I feel like that's just hiking 101. You cheerlead everyone, especially if you were coming down and they were going up. You had the victory moment already. This person is like contemplating life. No air left in their lungs, but they've got this. We know they've got this. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going along. I meet a couple girls um, that were kind of nervous and I encourage them to keep going and met another woman um, that you saw in that clip, actually, one of the girls and then three of the guys that I met were in that last clip there. But I ended up meeting this like really great group of people and the woman and the three guys and myself. So us two girls were solo hikers and then the th group of three guys. But I passed this group of three guys and one of them <laughs> was like, just keep going. I'll stay here. Now, the reason I had to come back and do this hike is because a couple of weeks ago, your girl did the same damn thing. Except I did it like quite literally three minutes from the top. I got nervous. Someone said something and I stopped and my fear completely hacked with my head. And so I just took a little seat and I told my bestie, you keep going. Such a head game. Such a head game. <laughs> But once you get in your head, it's really hard to kind of get out of that, especially when you're already on, in a space where there's so much exposure on the sides. So I saw this guy who was just kind of in his head. Someone had said something to him and made him a bit nervous. And so I was like, you've got this, but he wasn't continuing to go. And in very typical me fashion, I'm the type of person that in real life, I am like my, all of my friends' biggest cheerleader. I am the cheerleader to strangers. I'm just, it's just my personality. Some people, are totally open to that. Some people are like, hey, lady dressed like a popsicle, if you could heck off. So I was a little nervous that I was like, these three dudes are gonna tell me to get bent. <laughs> but two of them were like ready to go and one was just nervous. So I was like, hey, just get to me. If you can hike, just don't think about the whole trail, just hike to me. Cause it wasn't that far, but it was kind of not a great spot. But I was like, just try and get to me. And as soon as he was moving, it's like anything. Once you start going, you're good. So we started going and then we were like, it was like go time. I saw his friends, they were like, thumbs up. And then it was just kind of like a group of us that we just kept going. But it was, it's, just, oh, I don't know. I don't even know how to express like my appreciation and gratitude to these people because they were so kind and sweet and we're like, thank you so much. But we ended up hiking the rest of the way up and then I hiked down with them. The girl was super, super amazing, but she had to leave a little bit early. We hung out at the top because it was quiet at the top of Angel's Landing and I feel like that never happens. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> We live in a world where there's like so much pain and hurt and I know that that comes out in how people treat others. I really try and be compassionate with people when they're unkind to me because I know it's typically not personal. It sounds so funny, but that like restored my faith in humanity. 
<laughs> after like the day before it was kind of a tough day and just like seeing what people had written about me I'm not gonna lie like those things hurt of course they did it's just like so nice to just be reminded there that there are really good people in this world and I know that we all have moments like where we encounter people that are just maybe having a bad day or things like that and it can be like it can feel heavy for us it's different for everyone but I would encourage you to kind of step outside of your outside of your world and put yourself put yourself somewhere different and just put yourself somewhere where you can be reminded that there are good people in this world because those are people that it's so fun. I follow them all on Instagram now and it's just like neat to see what people are doing and where they're traveling and life is so strange, but the world is full of really beautiful, amazing people. And sometimes I think when we only see negative and we see it so often on social media or online, cause it's so much easier to be negative or unhappy in a space where you're not face to face with someone. But I think when we step kind of outside of our world and we're all on the side of a mountain, all kind of nervous, <laughs> you get to see people for like who they are, the types of people they are. And it was just fun to be able to, to be able to meet people in a different space and just appreciate life for what it is. And life is about seeing beautiful things and doing things that feel good to our soul and spending time with other kind human beings. And that's exactly what that day was for me. It was everything that I needed. So if I hope that you guys don't see this, I feel like I always put things out onto the internet and I'm like, I hope no one sees it. But if you do, just know that, um, yeah, you guys, uh, like that meant the world to me. Like that really meant the world to me. So anyways, that is my little Angel's Landing vlog. Thank you for coming I came with me and joining me on this weird little YouTube channel. I really don't even know what this is going to become a collection of. Hopefully not just me crying about people being nice. <laughs> I'm a big feels person. <laughs> I happy cry often. I gratitude cry all the time. My girlfriends laugh because I send really long appreciation messages to them like once a month and I'm usually like sobbing on the trim or the Stairmaster as I'm typing them. I'm just one of those people. We got some gratitude tears over here. I think it's probably weird to some people. It feels weird to me sometimes. But it's just like who I am. I'm just a happy human. I'm the person that like cries tears of happiness and joy when I eat a cream puff that's like the most amazing thing in the world that I haven't tasted before. Or when I have a new dessert, try a new dessert that I've never tried before. I'm just a happy human. I try and just be a happy human. But thank you for coming and hanging out with me while we went to hike Angel's Landing. And if you are thinking about doing a trail or solo hiking, things like that, um, I always encourage people to start solo hiking, I always encourage people start with busy trails because then you know you're not like out in the middle of the bush if something were to happen. But busy trails are a really good place to start solo hiking. And solo hiking is, to me, it's like the, the best of both worlds because you get to go do exactly what you want when you want when it works for your schedule because scheduling as an adult arranging schedules with your friends is so much harder the older we get because we're all just busy things like that but the nice thing about hiking is that you meet other people on the trails and that's such a good way to connect with people and just I don't know it's just I think it's good for our souls anyways thank you so much for joining me here and thank you so much to the amazing people that I met that day on Angel's Landing you honestly I cry every time I talk about it I have tried recording this little clip here so many times you guys are amazing like you all have golden souls i hope that you know that you bring a lot of light and love and joy to the world so keep being amazing and that is all <laughs>